We have been conditioned to think of sex, real sex, as intercourse. Mm. Our media, our TV, our social myths, everything looks at real sex as being intercourse, particularly between a man and a woman. And everything else is just foreplay. Or something else. Mm -hmm. You know how delicious foreplay can be? Tell me. I'll tell you later. Oh, okay. <laughs> we are the sexagenarian sages. And we are here to bust the myths of sex and aging. And as sex coaches, we particularly like working with more mature individuals because we know what it's like to reach that stage in your life where things are starting to change and you're frustrated because you miss the juiciness of sex, but you don't know what to do about it. But we also know how to overcome that. We've done that ourselves. Mm -hmm and how much pleasure you can have as you grow older. Things may be different, but it's still extremely pleasurable. So today we're gonna to talk about intimacy beyond intercourse. What are some of those things that change that she mentioned? Well, one of the changes we had to deal with was me going through menopause. There's physical changes. Yep. Yep, hormonal changes, things that affect the uh, Lining of the wall of the vagina, it starts mm -hmm. to get thinner. Lubrication may not be as easy as it was before. Right. Libido gets affected. Mm -hmm. One of the big bugaboos for men, the one we hear about all the time, you hear about it on the ads on TV, is erectile dysfunction, ED. Mm -hmm. And yes, it does become an issue. Or it can, doesn't for everybody, but it can become an issue. But it's also something that can be overcome without medication. Mm -hmm. In other words, you can still have satisfying sex, even if you have ED. Mm -hmm. One of the things I want to mention there is a man does not have to have ejaculation in order to have a climax during sex. That's another big... What? Yeah, that's another big myth that we have. It's like, if he doesn't ejaculate, then he hasn't gotten his satisfaction. There's an old Taoist practice that is thousands of years old around this. And maybe in one of our other videos, we'll talk about it a little mm -hmm. bit. I actually want to do a video. Uh, I think I'm going to call it the joy, or no, the pleasure. How about that? The pleasure of a soft cock. Sounds good. Body pain is one of the things that can come up. Issues around your joints, just overall body pain, arthritis, all these things that begin to show up in your body as you grow older. It's reality. Mm -hmm. You can still have a good sex life. You just have to learn to be able to work and to communicate around what's going on with your body. And there are also ways to adapt. I just had a birthday and I got a really, really, really nifty birthday gift. Yeah. He actually got me some furniture for the bedroom to help support my body during sex. And we're going to test that out. It can support if you've got a bad back, if you've got a hip that's giving you a problem, knees that give you problems. You can use supports to actually help you get into better positions. So you can still have a satisfying, fulfilling sex life. And it's not just for older people. True. The sex furniture can be help you be more creative yes. in your sex life. Exactly. And it's not just older people that have physical difficulties. Mm -hmm. You can be in your 20s. You may not have the strength you need to hold your partner in the way that you want to. And maybe some props will help you with that. Exactly. Yeah. There's another issue that often comes up. And that's a longer refractory period. Yes. And that may be a phrase that's not familiar to all of our listeners. Okay. Um, would you like me to explain it? Yes, I would like you to explain it. Okay. For most men, the refractory period increases as you grow older. And what a refractory period is, 
It's that time period between when you have an orgasm or a climax or an ejaculation before your body is ready to do that again. It takes time for the hormones to rebuild, the chemicals that you need that will kind of reload the gun, so to speak. So it takes some time. And as you grow older, it takes a little bit longer. Not like when you're in your 20s and you can have sex three, four, five times a day with short, maybe hour or half hour refractory periods. It may be, take you a day. It may take you two days as you grow older. But that doesn't mean you can't have erotic experience and sexual satisfaction even during those refractory periods. And one of the things is make it play. There is so much we can do to work on our arousal, work on just having fun with eroticism. Mm -hmm. Stop making it too serious. Yeah. And when things don't work right, you start getting frustrated. Things start getting mm -hmm. serious. Have some fun with it. Play with it. Laugh at it. Understand that you've got a body, a human body, that has different levels of capacity at different times. Yes. Work with that. Mm -hmm. Something else that we can do that will really help is to broaden the definition of what sex is. We kind of opened up talking about that, that the cultural meme is it has to be intercourse. But if we broaden our definition of sex, we suddenly have this huge smorgasbord, a buffet of possible things that we can do that will bring erotic pleasure. Maybe it's mutual masturbation. Maybe it's oral sex. Maybe it's oral sex. Maybe it's adding a sex toy or two or three. And maybe giving up the idea that you've got to have a climax. Mm, yes. And enjoy the simple sensation and pleasure of touch and being with another person. Mm -hmm. The sharing that goes on. That also increases the oxytocin in the body, which is exactly what comes up when you have a climax. Another way you can have a wonderful erotic experience without having intercourse is through erotic massage. Mm -hmm. Yes. That's one of the ones that I like, both being the giver and being the receiver. Yeah, I've been specifically trained in giving Taoist erotic massage, uh, leading it, and it's a great erotic experience. Mm -hmm. No intercourse at all. But it provides a body sensation that can lead to climax. Or not. Mm -hmm. Something yeah. else is Tantra. Think, have you ever thought about Tantra? Have you heard about Tantra? Look it up. Once again, this is a somewhat ancient practice that's used for connection and eroticism between two people. One other area to explore is kink. Typically, people who are kink-oriented are very, very creative and imaginative. There are so many different ways of experiencing erotic pleasure, and they are the ones who explore it and discover it. Mm -hmm. And... As you said, there are so many, a lot of people, when they think kink, they think the real out there stuff. Chains, whips, yeah, ropes. There's, and there's, there's so many things you can do with kink. And we actually uh, talked to our friend, the kinky fairy godmother. Oh, I don't, it was back in, back in January, I think it was, where we explored what is kink? How do you incorporate some kink into your life? So check out that video. And we'll be doing more. Yes. The idea is that you can still have sexual pleasure, even if you've got some challenges. And sometimes you need some help looking at those. We needed some help looking at those challenges. It's one of the reasons that we were in a sexless marriage for almost a decade. Yeah. Is because, because of my problems after menopause. Physical issues. Yep. I stopped initiating 
he stopped initiating because he didn't want to be bringing me pain. And we were so focused on penis and vagina sex that we pretty much gave up. Yeah. And it affected the rest of our relationship too. Yep, it did. Yep. And part of the reason it affected our relationship is we weren't talking about it. This can all be overcome. Mm -hmm. You can work on this and you can still have a sex life. There are many people in their 60s, 70s, 80s and older that still have active, satisfying sex lives. Yes. So if you want some help with that, get in touch with us. We know things that you may not even be thinking of. We can help you take a look at what's keeping you from having the kind of connection and mutual satisfaction that you're longing for. <laughs> and we know you're longing for it. Yes. We hear it all the time. Yep. Don't give up. Now, hit the subscribe button, hit that little notification bell, ding, ding. share this, tell your friends, keep following us, and contact us. If you want help, we can be there for you. Our link is below. Thank you for watching. Thanks.